Hi, I'm Leslie Ann Cross, and you're listening to Faith Builders, a place where you can build your faith. Today's message is called Two Kingdoms. Now, in the world, there are many different countries, and the countries have a king, or a queen, or a government, or a prime minister, or president. And each country has its own set of rules that we have to abide by. And so we're going to talk about two kingdoms. So similar in the kingdom, there is a king. A kingdom has a king. And a kingdom has citizens and a kingdom has rules and laws that we abide by. Spiritually, there is only two kingdoms. There is a kingdom of darkness and there is kingdom of light, of love and light. And each kingdom has a king, the king of darkness and the king of love and light. And we are citizens. We cannot have dual citizenship and we cannot stand on the, the uh, border. We are either in one kingdom or the other. The kingdom of darkness is full of evil or not necessarily looks all evil but jealousy, envy, pride um, and the kingdom of light is of love, of goodness, of, of, of uh, everything that Jesus came and taught about the kingdom of God. We can experience God's kingdom on earth. He said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So everybody on the planet, on earth, belongs to one spiritual kingdom. We either belong to the kingdom of darkness or the kingdom of light. And the good news is, it's our choice. It's our choice because Jesus paid the price so that we can say, yes, Lord Jesus, thank you. You paid the price for me. I accept your death on the cross was for me, for my sin, that you forgave me, that I can come and live in the kingdom of light and of love, in the kingdom of God, and live forever, eternally, one day being with him in heaven. But the kingdom of darkness is where we reject Jesus, and there is another king, the devil. And so it is our choice, and you might not think that you have to make that choice, but if we don't make that choice, then by default, we're in the kingdom of darkness, whether we like it or not. It's not our fault. It's just uh, since the fall of humanity, since Adam and Eve in the garden uh, uh, fell and obeyed Satan's word, the devil's word, higher above God's word, they lost their authority on the earth and gave it to Satan. And so darkness rules. That's why we see all these bad things happening. But God, his kingdom in us, through us, is love and light and goodness. And so we can choose to cross over from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. So because Adam and Eve sinned, because Adam and Eve gave up their authority uh, and came under Satan because they obeyed his word above God's word for fear of missing out for you know being tricked into believe that God was hiding something good from them and so since that time every human being that's been born has been born with the ability to sin and sin running through the bloodline and so man could not re, re, um, put this right. He couldn't put this right. And someone had to die for sin because the penalty of sin is death. But no man could do this because everyone was a sinner. There was no one without sin. But God could not come as God because he had given authority to mankind. So God had a plan. And God put on flesh and dwelt amongst us. Jesus left heaven, his home in heaven, spent nine months in a womb and entered the earth to show us God's kingdom, God's rules and kingdom and life and how to fullness and abundance and what heaven is like. There's no sickness, no disease. 
um, everything wonderful, the way God created it to be in the beginning. And so God ha made, has the remedy, he has the solution, he paid the way, he paid the price. So today, you choose which kingdom you belong to, the kingdom of darkness or the kingdom of light. And the good news is, there is bad news that by default we're in the kingdom of darkness, but the good news is that you can choose to be in the kingdom of light because God loves you. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not die, but have everlasting life. His love is for you. This is Leslie Chilton, Crafts with Faith Builders. God bless you.